Hello, today I'm going to fix my Lipo battery. Uh, one of the cables just got ripped off. This is a wide cable, which, according to what I have read, goes to a thermostat and helps uh, to gauge temperature of the battery when it's charging. Uh, when it goes to the charging device, and this cable is supposed to provide signal about the state of the battery. As you know, LiPo batteries cannot be overheated because it may become unstable and dangerous to use. So this cable is very important and without this cable the battery just doesn't charge as the charging device doesn't get any signal from this cable. So in order to fix uh, this battery, I mean in order to bring this battery back to life, I need to fix this cable and let's see how we're gonna do that. I will open uh, the protective casing of the battery and see what's inside and see how I can solder this cable back. So we start by peeling, peeling off the protective cover and uh, just uh, neatly we just cut it here and start opening this part and immediately you can see that there are plates of the battery we need to be careful with it and just in case don't forget to put the gloves and use the goggles just in case be safe and we're going to see what's going on inside and now I'll need to open this part and I see that there's already some electronics in there and hopefully I will be able to see if it's possible to solder the wire back here. Now uh, as you can see I opened the uh, this kind of a tape which is also an insulation kind of a tape uh, against temperature I guess and it looks like it's gonna be an easy fix because there's another yellow tape which fixes the black and red wire to the insulation tape and the white wire is actually looks like it was connected to this contact here which is huge actually and I think it's gonna be very easy to solder it to this contact so I have the battery fixed and I'm gonna apply some additive to the contact. The soldering procedure should be fast not to overheat the battery. Um, it's a sensitive battery, I wouldn't wanna have any problems with it now. And I need to also fix the wire on top of the contact. Try to solder it. Apply a bit more of solder to fix it better. And I think we're good to go. Now I'll just wait until it cools down a little bit and then wrap everything back. And I think I will fix the wires in such a position that it doesn't play much or when it plays it doesn't affect the uh, connection between the contact and the wire. Of course before we wrap everything up we need to test if the battery works correctly. Uh, the battery should work like that. Uh, this is a charging device and you see the uh, red light when you this is another battery so when you plug in the battery you should see the green light blinking if the battery is discharged this is the behavior that you should observe when the battery is charging this is our battery So I'm going to connect it. And you see now the light is green. 
and it's not blinking. Sometimes it may happen with this battery I had the same problem. You may need to plug and unplug the charging device. Normally that would indicate that the battery is fully charged. What I need to do is to check if the battery is charged, was fully charged. And um, normally what was happening is that I was trying to charge it and it wouldn't give me any indicator if it's been being charged or not. To see if uh, there's something wrong with the repairs, I tried to plug it in into a regular uh, charging device and it worked. So sometimes you, it looks like the battery needs resetting or something. I've had this issue before with the battery. So when you try it again, it looks like now it's working correctly. Now the charging device is getting a signal from the white wire and is able to charge the battery correctly. So the next step would be to tape all this back and uh, fix the cables in a position that they don't get affected when the wires are playing around due to vibration, etc. So now I have started charging the battery that I've just repaired and uh, if the green light stops blinking, keeps staying on, that would mean that the battery got charged and that the white wire is uh, working correctly. And finally, as you can see, the green light stays on, which means that the battery has charged. So I can say that the repair has been successful.